Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw a praying mantis, a cartoon one. It's gonna be for beginners. So if you're a beginner, stick around and stick around till the end. Uh, you're gonna learn something and it'll be fun. So let me get your attention and let's get started. Uh, right now we're gonna start with a praying mantis head and it's gonna be a, basically a triangle with some bulbs sticking out of it. So do that kind of rounded triangle. And before I do that though, I'm gonna throw this bulb on this side. And there you go. And then it's gonna be a bulb on the far end. So keep that in mind. Then I'm gonna throw a little antenna. Antennae. And now we're gonna go to the body. The body is gonna have one long torso. That's gonna be the back. Right before I do that, I'm gonna throw the front of the arm here. Think of like tubes. It's very, very simple, like straws or tubes. So the torso is just a tube, it is so easy. Then I'm gonna go to this segment right of the arm and then I'm gonna throw in another segment. Pulling that downward. And it's gonna have that other segment, right? That's gonna be a little bit sharp though, because that segment is kind of like what they use to attack. So then I'm gonna throw the far side arm. That segment, another segment aiming upward. It's just again, think, think of like straw stuck together. And then that far one again. And then we're gonna go for the body. Why does it be long? Down leg here. Pulling up. Down. Pulling up here. Other segment. That has about two segments and then it touches the floor. So we put that leg out front because that's gonna come in front of the other line, but then we're gonna complete this line like so, and that's the back end of the, of the, of the bottom part of the body. Front legs are also just little tubes. See, so think of straws stuck together, one, two, three, and then little kind of rounded foot shape far end as well. Make those really thin as well. And then the far leg on the back. Almost done. Um, it's gonna have a little bit of counter shading as well. It's gonna have a line right here to segment to that area. Just throw another line right here because there's a texture to it. And then if you really want, you can throw one at the front. But that is a praying mantis, kind of a cartoony one. Uh, and if you really, really want, you can throw in those eyes that it might have. I don't even think praying mantis have that, but it makes it look more like a bug when you do that. And that's it. That is a cartoon praying mantis. Uh, it was really simple. I found it simple enough. Hit that like button and also press the share. The share button uh, really helps us out. Uh, helps me out. I get by with, uh, you know, pretty much people sharing it. So it really helps me out. Um, thank you so much. I dedicate a lot of time to this and I've dedicated a lot of time to the page and I really want to make everybody happy. So thank you guys. I will see you next time. Uh, one last thing. Uh, if you've ever wanted to learn how to draw cute, uh, I have a free How to Draw Cute ebook, and I'm gonna put that in the description. It is uh, getting a lot of, a lot of traffic right now, so I'm really appreciative. Uh, it's a free thing, and it kind of goes over the cute proportions that you can kind of, um, like, that you kind of need to create something like the, the illusion of what, like, what is cute. And I go over that in a 10-page ebook. Um, and like I said, totally free. First description. It's my gift to you, essentially. So thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video. This is where I draw the line.